All right, first impressions on the B&T TP9N. Uh, it's been a project I've actually been kind of excited about for a while. Uh, talking about kind of these mini sub guns, different calibers, different applications. I think it's cool, it's nine mil, carries 30 rounds and it can be pretty compact. Um, me as a lefty though, um, has some ambi controls on the, on the mag releases, but not on the bolt, has ambi controls on the safety. Picked up, you can only mount this Picatinny rail on basically the right side of the gun um, and none of the left, but like most problems, I mean, short rail space to, to put whatever kind of optics you want, but it's nice, it has a detachable front handle and uh, collapsible pistol brace that you can kind of take on or off. Now, so looking at the short rail space, you know, first kind of thoughts are uh, what, what optics you choose. We are going to use kind of the EOTech version, the Hydra. Use, use this EOTech as just kind of our red dot. Um, you know, it has the night vision setting and those kind of things. Um, figure out where we want to mount the laser, you know, with the Hydra. And then the light was always a big thing to me. I mean, kind of that Picatinny that's just on the right side. Um, not that lefties can't do it, but, you know, it's kind of set up for righty. You know, it has ambi controls, but um, we'll put it together and kind of see how it works. Definitely take the range, shoot some. Um, excited about it. Got this thing all the way buttoned up against the iron sight. Kind of the big aperture and small one, so irons are out. I mean, limited rail space. But so I see how we, how we can set this thing up. I have to go old school with this. This thing has some challenges though. It doesn't have really a, a mounting. You can get some QDs on here, maybe on here for a two point, but pretty much set up for that single point. Back here, more set up for the right handed versus left, but it stays out of the way of this. Maybe swap up a butt stock or something that may have a QD, but I mean, these old school kind of single points it takes me back. Tighten it up on your body so it stays close. Let's see. I almost forgot to tell you. Bruce is probably pretty happy, but so we discussed this project with shooting surplus um, on doing kind of this mini sub gun piece. And can't thank him enough for hooking us up with this, do this piece for you guys. But um, still right behind. They actually make a little holster for it too. Right on your leg, but nice concealable, small. That's what this is. I'm actually surprised this thing comes with a full-on instruction manual, though. I'm impressed on that one. Dude, this is an old school, like one of the original SNS little mounts for like surefires. Back when they didn't have, if you're trying to always get it, that be able to get close to that rail, kind of tucked out of the way, and you can reverse it too, depending on the hand and which way you want. But allows me to kind of keep it locked in. Um, basically, set that screw right in between that Picatinny. So that doesn't move, but these screws always fucking fell out. So it's kind of a happy medium. Um, big 
basically just tightening this thing up real quick, kind of so it won't move and flop around. But both these screws would always kind of come loose, but you have to check them. And space it so you can still tighten it back on. What's the purpose of this bill? Is this just a fun bill? Dude, this is just a fun bill for me. Uh, it's a fun bill. See what we can kind of create monster. I'm sure we'll get pl plenty of interesting comments on this thing. We I mean, took a super small platform, add all this stuff onto it. But I mean, reality, if you're going to use it at night, um, definitely need a light. Running nods, you know, laser on there. Um, but maybe we'll do two builds. We'll basically build it like this. So we run it and then see how minimalistic we can build it. Just like a light and a red dot. Because too, I mean, you don't have to have that perfect cheek weld. We want to just kind of point it out like a pistol. So... Uh, it's, it's a fun build. I think it's capable for sure, but it's having fun. Let's see what it's like to be right-handed. This is nice. Let's see Look how small this thing is. I mean, it has it has smaller smaller mags, obviously that fit fit flush. Can make it a pretty small platform, but pretty capable. Come out. We used to run bungee around here too, almost like a crisscross on our back, so you could pull it out. But I mean, pretty small. Put on a briefcase. Um, this little bolt release right here. Charging handle. Not not a huge fan of this, but it's nice how slim it is, for sure. But it's plastic. But you get it with two hands. It's a pretty small platform. Put in a briefcase, little bag, 30 rounds. Nice for up close and personal. I know there's a few different suppressors on that you can put these on, but B the B&T ones, pretty quiet too. I think the suppressor is only about that long. But uh, safe, safety's nice for the righties, but lefties got this little hard button, but reality being a lefty. I don't know what you guys think. Um, pretty minimalistic, super capable. I went with this kind of old school on the hand grip. That was where I felt best kind of ambi, whether you're right or left-handed, having that pressure pad right on the front of that hand grip. Try to tuck the cable as best as possible. Um, not perfect, but it's a way, kind of protect them. It's nice. I mean, so easy right in front. How about there? I, I tell you what, though, that, that height with that laser, that offset, offset from the red dot is so small. It used to be huge, probably six inch offset at like 45 degrees, but now it's basically that, that IR laser is right inside that EOTech reticle. Used to have huge, huge hold offs, but. No, it's nice. Rotate over here. Thumb. You know, I kind of built it for being a lefty, but no, super nice. Good grip. And lock it down. Get up here on here. But no, I dig it. See, it's one thing with the lefties. Got to hit your index finger on this thing. Nice, compact, easily break it, break it down. Just one thing on lefties, if it's running collapsed, I mean, this thing doesn't lock down, so it's always gonna flap off. So if you pull it off, you have it on there. There's no in between, so. Cool. 
we're gonna get back into it. Um, trying to build a minimalistic kind of setup. I had a bunch of shit on there, so we're just taking stuff off. Luckily, I don't have a Dremel or a hacksaw, but uh, we are gonna use just a, a factory T2 right out of the box. Mount this fucker, sucker. We're gonna play around with it a little bit. If you were putting this on for the first time, how would you find the, the general red dot placement? I honestly have no experience with this, so we're just gonna figure it out together. <laughs> so it's a fun build. I kick all this shit off, but um, I don't know. So we're gonna build a pistol, basically. So. And we might play around, move it back a little bit. See how that, that works. Minimalistic, taking caps off. I found a use for you Sig Light. A little Foxtrot too. I do know where I want to put this light though. So kind of like shooting a pistol, I can can operate it with my thumb. So you know, grip, be able to hit that. Probably actually move it forward just a little bit. Oh, yeah, right there. That's nice. Got it right, right out of the way, the ejection port. Uh, go test fire it, kind of see how this build is, but super small. Let's see. Way smaller than before, nice and light. Fun little build. I think having that a little bit forward allows get that side a little bit quicker. By just having it back, but playing around with it, see see how it works. Would the placement change if you were actually using a little butt stock? Nah, I mean for this setup, mm -hmm. mm -mm. I like where the weight is. I mean, I play around with some of the weight. Maybe move it backwards just a little bit. I don't know, but let's do it. Let's just see. I don't know, the weight does feel better. Moving back, not much of a difference. Nice little small build. Can really kind of tuck that up, hide it up next to you. Concealable. We'll, that's what we'll do, we'll just take all the braces off, see what's the most accurate and best to shoot. Compare it on weight and how many rounds it'll take. I mean, nine mil, in my opinion, has a little bit better knockdown than MP7. Um, not as much reach, but I'm excited to shoot. A little fun build, see what it's like. All right, you guys got my full build, my slim down build, all that, so. We will go and test this out, but definitely give a shout out to Shooting Surplus and Bruce. Thanks for allowing us to make this happen. And um, we'll follow up after this with some MP5s, 7s, MCXs, get a full kind of little series going with these little sub guns on full builds, some down builds, and uh, see what we can get away with. Just want to give a quick shout out to Bruce at Shooting Surplus. Recently hooked us up with this TP9 suppressor and uh, kind of finish off the build. One thing, um, so we noticed it turns at a 45, so we can't line it up right, th right here. 
you, ha you have to turn 90 for it to lock, lock on those and spin this down till it tightens. So this rail will be at a 45, but if you want to get the rail kind of perpendicular or you know straight running with, with the barrel, the only way to do it is put it on like this, snap it in. I think it's a good spot, whether you have it at a 45 or, or on the bottom. Um, and with the Picatinny allows to kind of put that light where you want it. So me as a lefty, allows me to have my thumb right there on that light. Makes it super nice, kind of out of the way. 